Here's a short overview of the Kilo 3 Alpha operation. So this is the operation table uh, at ICOM 7300. I'm operating using a headset, a computer. I tried to use log for om for logging. That's a little laggy, so I'm gonna try something else out that's a bit faster. Um, the antennas, I can switch them right here with a patch panel that I just manually switch the coaxes back and forth. And I can either run directly 100 watts or use the amplifier and tuner right here on the side. So let's go outside where it's more interesting. So this here is the feed box. That's one of the nicer features of my station. That's kind of done, prof not professionally, but <laughs> just the way it ought to be. So right here I have the lightning arresters in there. Uh, so the coiled coax is a temporary coax for my temporary table, a uh, temporary antenna that I've set up. So that's not always there. Normally I cut the coax to the proper length if they are per uh, more permanent here. So I have set up right now um, three antennas, although I'm only operating on two different antennas. I'm going to show them to you. So one of the challenges is not to run coaxes on the ground because I have rabbits, critters or whatnot, and they're going to eat the coax. They love just plastic chewing. Um, somewhere down buried here is a ground rod and I have bonded it with a copper tape all the way around the house. It actually goes under the deck to the electric panel where the ground rod is and there are multiple um, points where there are more ground rods in the way. So the ground is pretty awesome here. Oh yeah, some of the antenna wires go right up here. Those are the temporary ones that I just kind of support right here with uh, uh, pole so it's not too much weight and they are with this umbrella and right the box in front of us that is a semi-permanent antenna that's a 20 meter dipole that's connected to the house on one side right here I put a, well, right there is a short stretch of bungee just to take down the pull a little bit and then in the trees I have counterweights also to work on that. So let's look at the counterweights. So I'm not sure if you see it but somewhere around there is where the wire is connected to the string that I flew across the tree. So what I did is I took a, a cheap uh, quadcopter and flew it over the tree with a thin string on it and then pull a rope over the tree and that rope is just holding up a pulley and then I have other ropes that go through the pulley in a loop so I can lower and raise the tenor and those ropes in a loop I have right here these let me zoom out again I have these weights here that just hang in the tree and on the pulley so that allows when the tree swings it allows the attention to be the same and not to pull very much because this pine in stronger winds swings quite a bit. Uh, as mentioned on the 20 meter I was setting up the... Uh, I put a bungee part in there as well so I hope that takes off some of the uh, effects of the swaying. So another antenna, very temporary, is this uh, pole right here. Um, that were nine section of four foot, so you can calculate how high that is up. I guided on two levels uh, with rope, just temporary, and on the grass, as you see, I have um, posts in, so I don't run against the guy wires. That really helps a lot. So let's go around here, so I can show that a little bit better. So on top of the pole, I have a PVC pipe and two pulleys. If we zoom in, you might see it a little bit better. And that allows me to pull up two antennas at, a t at the same time. So right now I'm just using one pulley and up there's the box. So both 
this box and the 20 meter box have a one-to-one -one common mode current balance in it and this one is the 40 meter uh, dipole so it just goes over there into the mulberry tree and on the other side it just uh, drags over a small bush and the wire is long enough uh, not the wire is long enough the string is long enough to go all the way on the ground on the other side so yes both of these antennas uh, can run the I don't know how many watts but I definitely run 500 watts into them so this 20 meter dipole here uh, if that has any directionality, it kind of points to um, Europe. So I did talk to Europe already on the special event. This one is a little bit more awkward on the direction. I haven't double checked that one. It's about 45 degrees to the 20 meter dipole. So that's definitely not pointing to Europe. So the 40 meter uh, dipole also works on 15 meters, so I will be working so a little bit on 15 just for fun. Uh, the third antenna that I'm not going to use during the, during this um, K3 Alpha special event is this antenna tuner, and right there is uh, just a wire that goes into the tree. That allows me to run uh, pretty much any band uh, on 100 watts, and it's very easy to use, but. It's a little bit uh, lower on the wattage and I don't have a need to go to the low bands 80 meters or 160 both of those ones I would do with that wire but right now it's summer so uh, I'm not gonna work on those frequencies a lot so that's a little overview of uh, my station here and hope you enjoyed that and it's not a huge grand but you can see that you know, getting something halfway decent up is not too hard. So I hope you get me on the air for the K3 Alpha activation for the Amateur Radio Software World. Have a good one, 73.